We're here on a beautiful Saturday morning at the St. Lawrence Market. So after you've bought all of your delicious organic fruits and vegetables upstairs, you can come downstairs and relax with Claudia Gaviria, creator of Cruda Cafe. So can you expand on the concept of raw and the philosophy behind the food preparation here at Cruda Cafe? We don't cook uh, anything over 115 15 degrees because you lose you, you start losing your enzymes of all the all the um, nutrients of, of the fruits and vegetables nuts and seeds you're actually getting all your enzymes in your body so you're not using your enzymes for your digestive system to process that food so I wanted to bring uh, the um, living foods and raw uh, to to the to the public to the general public and put the best food that I can to uh, to a person that works from nine to five in the downtown area. That's great. So leading to my next question, how can someone integrate this into their lifestyle? There's amazing books uh, that you can get. Also, there's a lot of information in the, uh, in the website. And also, I, I teach, actually. We teach classes here in the market. There's a whole beautiful fusion cuisine growing worldwide right now. And we make amazing desserts, and, and you wouldn't even think that they are, they're raw. Yeah, they're delicious. Yeah, they are. What do you think of the growing awareness of you know healthy foods and, and all the all the restaurants that are incorporating this holistic approach? I think it's very important that uh, consciously we start shifting to a better way of eating. It's not only good for ourselves, but it's good for the environment and and ultimately good good for the earth. But you know you have to start your change with yourself first and embrace it yourself and then, and then uh, you share it. So I think it's very important that people start understanding where the fruits and vegetables comes from and, um, and, and use them in a way that is, is not harmful for the environment. Where do you get your inspiration for new recipes? I, I think uh, I, I get my inspiration from, from my background, from my travels. I have a fusion of all these flavors and I remember going to, with my grandmother when I was little she um, she was a coffee groaner in in uh, in Colombia, and I, I I used to pick coffee with her, and she was very in tune uh, about healing with foods. That was uh, something that was very um, in my essence, and now I'm putting it all together. That's yeah. wonderful. So has someone pass along great words of advice to you? I remember this uh, this man from India, and he he told me, you know, always be truth for who you are and don't be afraid of showing what you want to show to the world and just remain true. So from your website, may you always walk away recharged, uplifted, inspired and happy. Yeah. So did you want to ex expand on this and are there final words that you want to leave everyone with? Well, one of, one of the amazing things that I discover in this food is that you feel happy because it just has so many colors. It's just by looking at it, it just makes you happy. It's just, it's just, it just happens. So I think when people come in and they keep coming back, they say, you know what, this food feels so good in my body, it feels so great, uh, I, I feel so happy, you know, that, that, that I, I know that I, I've done my job. This has been Chelsea Conway bringing you inspirational urbanites and lively caltainment.